All right, welcome everybody back to Dad's Coffee Break. My name is James, and today I am taking a break with more Kingdoms Reborn on Brutal Difficulty. Last time we battled having, uh, not having enough food, not having enough tooling and medicine, uh, but we seem to be doing okay in both of those areas right now. We expanded our farms downriver. Um, we also ex uh, expanded our just a general border down to include this iron mine and have since set up our, um, or sorry, uh, to include this iron deposit. We have since set up our iron mine and we are now uh, smelting that iron into bars and making it into tools. So that is all very good. We also set up uh, another couple of fishing lodges and another trading port so we can sell some of our goods. And yeah, just continuing to expand. Uh, looks like we have just researched our tech here, and I believe that was Medicine Maker. Um, so now I am going to go ahead and get Trading Company. This is a building that will allow me to trade goods automatically with the world market. So I'll set that up. Uh, unlocked Medicine Maker. Would you like to buy the Medicine Maker card? Yes. It is a little expensive, but we are growing uh, medicinal herbs. And so having the ability to actually make medicine out of that is going to be huge. Um, okay. Let's put them right there. And just going to set up some extra storage here so I stop getting that notification. Uh, beyond all of that so beyond the expansion of our farms trading industry um, we also unlock the ability to vassalize other towns and we started doing so uh, starting with boar guild and ruan both of which are now our vassal and are paying us income tax not much mind you only about 6.5 gold between the two of them but we are their lord um, see allies, vassals. I'm, I'm really eager to see where this, um, where the interaction with the AI will go as development continues. Because right now, like I mentioned in the last episode, they really don't fight back when I go to vassalize them. Um, but it looks like there might be ability where you can have, there might be the ability to have um, allies in the future, which would be extremely interesting. And I think it'd just be a lot more dynamic once they're fighting back. But yeah, as for right now. Not much, though that is on par with what the note said in the um, in the intro screen to the game, that the AI is broken and just to ignore them. I am going to sell um, my tools for quite a lot of money, because that's broken. Yeah, okay. Companies Act. What does that do? Minus 10% trading fees for trading companies. Okay, so that will be extremely good once we unlock the trading company up here. Because right now, um, everything incurs a fee when we make a trade. And with this card, that's going to reduce that by 10%. So that's going to be fantastic. In the meantime, I'm actually going to buy wood. Just get more gold. We could have... Uh, Kept saving up to unlock our next um, town hall upgrade, but I think right now we're in a pretty good spot. And I've been making some pretty big strides um, as far as expansion goes. So I've unlocked or essentially claimed a couple more provinces this way. We're going to expand, bring in more wood. And then I am also building another forester house and stockpile right there to bring in even more wood. And then I went ahead and uh, put down my clay pit and brickworks uh, building down here at the edge of the river. So we are starting to I think, get a lot of our uh, industry into place. Now we just need to focus on food because that is uh, what seems to be one of the biggest issues right now. To that point, I am going to make a trade. I'm going to sell our tools. I'm going to buy some meat because it's 
cheap. And then I am, uh, so that should bring in some food and a little bit of extra money. I'm going to buy more wood. Cool. Then I'm actually going to upgrade these. There we go. Our research is now completed. So we have the ability to get it. Um, to build trading companies. And with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and research market so we can get uh, more goods to our citizens in a little bit more of an efficient manner. Um, so in a long trading company, would you like to buy the card? Yes, I would. And now, as part of a plan um, from the beginning is we want to put trade companies next to our trading ports because they're actually going to see a bonus um, as a result of it as we upgrade them. So we'll put this one here, put another one here. I'm just going to build them all along this coastal area. I actually got another trading company, so I'm going to build yet another one right next to it. And you'll notice that um, we can upgrade the fee discount, efficiency hauling so the cooldown is shortened, and then upgrade marine trade. So as a result, we actually get plus 60 goods, uh, plus 60 goods, quantity per trade so essentially you think plus 60 units if we're next if we're adjacent to a trading port which we are we have quite a lot of gold i'm gonna go ahead and just train all that um right now god our wood supply is crap we'll go ahead and go ahead and buy some wood i'm also just going to uh choose to import wood at this point in time until we're really uh, supplying ourselves with the wood that we need I don't want to risk it uh, too much is riding on our wood stockpile in order to um, uh, to feed and uh, keep our citizens alive so I'm going to set this to 300 and then our next trading company I plan to trade our tools one thing that I'm struggling with now actually is just having enough build, builders and laborers available to actually one move goods and then construct the buildings I need. Um, even my Forester and housing over here hasn't been built quite yet. Um, my clay pit and brickworks has, but I've actually um, have terminated the jobs there just for the time being until more, um, more buildings can be constructed. The other building that hasn't been uh, built yet is my medicine maker, which is a little concerning. Okay, we completed our next tech. Um, I am going to research Silk Road for right now. And then that'll put us into era four. Uh, we unlocked the market. Do you want to buy it? Yeah, I'll buy it. I'm going to wait to build it though. Till our other structures can get built. We've now grown to 100 citizens, and we get access to another global policy card. Um, this seems like it's never going to happen. More than 1,000 coal. Gold rush might. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that for right now. So we need to focus on just getting some of the structures still built. Um, getting more housing down, which I put housing out here. Looks like one of the houses is coming up. We have other houses. And our Forester is finally being built over here. Excellent. Um, and I've still paused my clay pit and bricks works. But we'll unpause it as soon as we get more people. But we definitely have a growing city at Cop Letter Bali now. And I think we're doing okay as far as food goes. We're kind of right on the line. Um, but hopefully we can extend that out. Uh, keep expanding. Before I call it a day, one thing I do want to do is just go ahead. We have so many points saved up. I'm just going to... And this is what I did in my last playthrough, too. I, and, I mean, the game developers said they're broken. There's, just ignore them. But might as well just do this for the extra... Um, the extra income. I already got board guild. Okay, the button still shows, but I guess it just doesn't let me do anything. That's fine. Do we get these guys? Okay. And. 
Cool. All right, so let's give that some time, and then we'll and we'll be sitting pretty as the rulers of the world once again. All right, I'm going to set up this other trading company, and we are going to sell our tools. And we're going to set a target inventory of 100 tools. Um, anything beyond that, we'll just export. Which should actually bring in quite a lot of money for us. So That will be good there. Um, and then we have wood being imported here. We have another uh, trading company set up here. I'm going to export furniture. Because we, by all means, do not need 800 furniture sitting around. And this will actually help with our storage problem as well. We'll set that to, let's set it at 400 uh, right now as a target inventory. And then they'll move the rest of that off um, into the world market. So we can uh, make some money off of it. All right, guys. I'm just going to wait for... Oh, they're homeless. That's fine. I'm going to wait for all of my... Um, yep, conquering to complete. Oh, we conquered Boar Guild again. Uppsala, Luna, Havra, Rohal. And I think we've done it. I think with that, we have once again conquered the world in... Uh, in, um, <laughs> in Kingdoms Reborn. Um, so apparently brutal difficulty, not much of a difference there. Like I said, they made note of it. They told us that the A is broken. So, But a lot of potential. I'm really excited to see where that goes um, and see how that mechanic uh, evolves over time and how it really changes the feel of the game. But I think with that, I am going to call it a day. Um, we've come quite far. And we still have more to go. I will say now, as we continue to expand, as we continue to move through the eras, I think we're about to hit era number four, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I am going to play most likely until we unlock, until we get to like era number eight and we feel like we're at a good point. Um, I don't think I'll save up the 500,000 gold that it takes to get an economic victory again. I did it in my last game. As soon as we're looking like we're in a pretty stable position and we've done pretty much everything we want to do, I'll probably call it um, call it a game there. But all things in the future, all things that are coming um, a few episodes from now. So we'll see we'll see what happens and and take it um, take it from there. But I hope you guys are enjoying the series thus far and our playthrough of Kingdoms Reborn on Brutal Difficulty. If you are, please like and subscribe so you can stay tuned for the next, uh, for the next episode. But I hope you guys are doing well, and I will talk to you later. Bye.